It's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid... Oh, okay. Just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take... Hey! Take it easy! I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear to you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a back. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now. If you run, or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid, like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And uh, where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are... Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Oh, man. 
But Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Hey. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's great. Yeah. That I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <laughs> and it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Say Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here, you mean. With you. In Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. Okay.
Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, uh, it's all... Ah. See? Yeah, it's not bad. First, second attempt. Huh? <laughs> 